In the Dakota language, the word for calendar is Wiyawapi. This literally translates to counting moons. Follow along as we explore the 13 moons of the Shakpe Bade Wakantua. Maha Ogadawi, Geese Egg Lang Moon. In our Dakota culture, the new year begins with the spring season. After a sometimes long, difficult winter, the arrival of spring is well received. The return of geese is one sign that winter has ended and spring is here. The geese and their eggs also provided a much needed food source in spring. Wojupiwi, Planting Moon. The very beginning of summer is the time to plant your garden. Even historically, Madewa Kanto on Dakota had gardens that they maintained throughout the summer. The women and children sat on raised wooden platforms to keep a watch on their growing food. Wajushtachashawi, Strawberry Ripening Moon. Berries, in particular strawberries, provide many vitamins and nutrients. In the past, wild strawberries were very abundant and were heavily forged for their nutritional benefits. It was also important to know when strawberries became ripe so that they could be harvested before they were eaten by animals and birds. Champa Sapawi Choke Cherry Ripening Moon Choke cherries are culturally important to the Dakota people for both their nutritional value and ceremonial reasons. When they ripen, they are nearly black in color. Wasna, which can be a combination of dried meat and choke cherries, is made and dried for winter use. Today, you can often find wojapi, which is a pudding often made from choke cherries. Bdoke Chokayawi, Midsummer Moon. During years with 13 moons, you will have either a midsummer moon or a midwinter moon. Oftentimes, events that happen during the midsummer moon correlate with what is happening during the surrounding summer moons. Wasutunwi, when things ripen, moon. The Dakota word for seed is su. During this moon, many of the fruit and vegetables with seeds become ready to harvest. These include squash, wild plums, beans, and corn. Today, plum seeds are used in traditional regalia and in a game called Kanta Su. Psin Hanaketuwi, wild rice storing moon. Wild rice has always been important to Dakota people. Today, People go out onto the lakes with canoes and wooden knockers to harvest wild rice. It is a lengthy process, harvesting, hauling, drying, and storing that can take up to several weeks. Wild rice can be enjoyed in many dishes. Wajupiwi, Final Harvest Moon. This moon marks the end of summer and that winter will soon be here. If the first harvest of wild rice was a success, this was your chance to gather some one last time. It was also during this time that the final rotations of crops were harvested from gardens. Tahe Chapshunwi, Deer Break Off Antlers Moon. It is during this moon that deer go into rut. Bucks fight each other. They sometimes hit each other so hard that their antlers break off. You can sometimes find buck scrapings and broken antlers on the ground. The male deer do not naturally shed their antlers until January. Champopapiwi, tree popping moon. The temperature is dropping and it is getting very cold. It is so cold that if you listen closely, you can hear trees popping. They sometimes are as loud as gunshots. Dakota people take this as a sign to prepare for the very cold time that is about to come. Witehiwi, time of hardship moon. This is usually the coldest time of the year. Buffalo robes are sometimes stacked five high. In addition to the extreme coldness, some people become ill. Although this is one of the hardest times of the year, this is also the time when storytelling takes place. Wichatawi, the raccoon moon. The name of this moon comes from a story about male raccoons during mating season. They tend to stay in dens or hollow trees during the coldest times of the winter. As the weather becomes nicer, they come out of their dens which signals that the hardest time of winter may be over. Ishta Wichayazawi, Sore Eyes Moon. Winter is finally coming to an end. It is getting warmer and the snow starts to melt during the day. However, at night, the snowpack freezes again. On sunny days, a strong glare will reflect off of this icy snowpack. The glare is so strong that it can make your eyes sore. <laughs> 